Good, good morning. It is Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your girl, Miss Leah Renee, and you are tuned into LRTV and the Real Lifestyle Morning Show. It's my birthday. As you can see, I have on my birthday shirt. Shout out to my niece, Elena, who made me this shirt last year. And I'm going to be wearing this every single year on my birthday. It says, it's my birthday. Hit my cash app. I am Leah Renee. So my cash app is dollar sign. I am, I am Leah Renee. If you want to bless me, I won't be mad about it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to another great show. Today is going to be a dope show because I got, um, you know, he's a celebrity. He is a celebrity. He is world renowned. He is world ranked and he is undefeated. And he is the Prince Albert Bell. He is from Toledo. He is Toledo's own. And I am so proud that I'm going to have him on my show today. He's got a fight coming up on Friday, and we're going to sit down and talk about that with him. So I'm really excited. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm also going to talk about some things going on in the headlines. So, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another great show. It's the Real Lifestyle Morning Show. So um, it's going to be a great day, seeing as though it's the Queen's birthday. <laughs> um, I'm excited. Uh, you know, this is the last year of my 30s. Um, it's been a real great run for me. And I can't complain. I'm blessed. I'm healthy. You know, it's I, I have a good life. I definitely cannot complain. My kids are busy. Um, you know, they're, they're healthy, they're busy, they're, they're keeping me busy. And you know, what can you do? You can't complain about life when you're breathing. A lot of people didn't make it to C39 and yet here I am. And I've been through a lot. So the fact that I'm here and I'm still standing, I'm blessed for that. And I'm thankful and, you know, can't complain about that. So, um, I just want to thank everybody who always, um, shows me love and always shows me support. And, um, you know, I can't do what I do without you guys and you guys keep me going. So I just really appreciate all the love and all the support. So thank you guys for always showing me love and, um, just always being there to support everything I do. So, um, again, we're going to be sitting down with Albert print, the Prince, uh, Albert Bell Jr. So he's got a real big fight coming up this Friday. And I'm excited. Um, but before we get to that, I'm going to talk about some stuff going on in the headlines. And first of all, we're going to talk about the weather because springtime is here. The uh, sun is starting to come out. We're getting those spring like temperatures. And I'm happy. That's why I love springtime because one, it's my birthday. And two, it's always, um, you know, we get the spring like temperature. So it's currently 70 degrees, although it's not beautiful. The sun isn't out right now. It's drizzle, a little bit of a drizzle going on. You definitely want to take your umbrella and wear your rain boots if you don't want to get wet because it's going to be raining pretty much all day um, till, yep, till about four o'clock. So um, at least we'll be seeing some warm temperatures, um, but definitely you're going to be seeing that rain all day. So be prepared for that. Tomorrow, we're going to get to a high of 70. Thursday, um, I mean, I'm sorry, tomorrow we're going to get to a high of 65 and Friday we're going to get to a high of 63. So if you're going out to the fight to see uh, the Prince, um, you know, Eh, temperatures are so-so. It's going to be cloudy, but at least we won't be seeing any rain on Friday. So you can, if you ladies are going to have your hair done, you're going to be dressed to impress and all of those great things, you don't have to worry about the rain. So uh, we have 63 degrees to look forward to on Friday for the fight. So at least, you know, it'll be, eh, I think that's pretty good weather. So Saturday and Sunday are going to be partly sunny, partly cloudy, and we're only going to be in the high of 40s, um, high 40s. So it's going to be pretty chilly over the weekend, but we will see some sun. So that's good. Um, I don't know about any accidents or incidents on the road because I have not. Actually, yes, I did go out. I took my daughter to school this morning. I didn't see any accidents when I took her, but I'm going to look on my Ogle app just to make sure. Um, let's see. It says that... Nope, I'm not seeing any accidents on the road right now. There's just some construction going on um, over there by Hollywood Casino. What I just noticed when I was over there driving the other day, you cannot take 75. Um, the exits are different now. You used to take 75 and go to the right. Now you have to go to the left. So just pay attention if you're driving over there by the Hollywood Casino off 75 that you want to be aware that there's a lot of detours going on over there. There's lots of cones. And um, be safe out there driving because the construction workers... Um, I watched a special on the news today on Good Morning America about the construction workers. Um, so many of our construction workers are being killed on the highways every day because people are just not driving safely through those construction zones. 
And these people are out there, they're putting their lives on the lines. They're trying to build our highways so that we can get to where we got to go. And um, people are just not being safe. So we have to have to be safe on the roads, especially when you're driving those through the construction zones. I know we're a lot of times in a hurry, but just keep in mind that the men and the women on the road who are you know, trying to keep it safe for us, that we need to do the same in return and keep it safe for them because a lot of people are losing their lives on the highway and it's just not right. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Be safe out there on the roads. There's lots of construction going on, lots of detours. It's that time of the year. So just give yourself extra time when you're going where you're going and be safe out there on the roads. And that's all I have for your weather and traffic today. I want to go to the headlines um, and talk about what's going on in the headlines. Uh, your boy Post Malone has a new album coming out in May. Um, his uh, um, his um, DJ and producer basically made the announcement. He wasn't even the one that made the announcement. So he came on to say, we're working. We're uh, basically got an album coming out next May. And right now he has a single out with The Weeknd called One Right Now. So um, that's the only music that he's got really right out, kind of out right now. It's kind of like a sneak peek to what he's going to be dropping with his album. But if you are a Post Malone fan, um, you can look forward to his album coming out next month in May. Um, it doesn't say right now the exact drop, the you know, the exact release date. So, um, you know, just stay tuned for that. You know, he'll be dropping something hot, but that doesn't have any sneak leaks of like anybody that he's going to be putting on the album either. But it was his co-manager who made the video. He basically confirmed that he's going to be dropping it. He said, quote, results or excuses, choose your side. Post Malone, new album coming next month. What you want in life, results or excuses. So Dre London, he was the one that confirmed that album uh, release next month. Um, they did, haven't really said who's all going to be on it yet or the ac actual date, but we'll look forward to that. So right now like i said they got the song one right now with the weekend so that's the only thing he has out right now that's his newest single so you can tune into that but um i'm looking forward to that see what his new music is gonna bring and um you know see what he's been working on so um rihanna she's been in the headlines crazy because we all know that she and uh, her boyfriend, ASAP, ASAP Rocky, are expecting their first child. And everybody is going crazy about Riri and his baby bump because, you know, I mean, uh, Rihanna, she's been one of our sexiest, you know, celebrities out here doing her thing. And now she's finally pregnant. She's in a relationship. She's doing her thing. She's sporting that baby bump all around. And she is like, you know, she just, she's doing her thing. I mean, She's bringing fashion to it. She's showing women that you can be pregnant. You can be sexy. You don't have to feel bad about bringing a baby into the world. It's a miracle. That's what she said. So she, um, in some of her interviews, has been talking about how that's why she's been so, like, you know, out here with her belly. Because she wants women to understand and respect what their bodies are doing when they're pregnant. I mean, when we have babies, we create real life human beings. I mean, I've had three of them. Trust me. It's some crazy stuff that goes on, but it's miraculous. And it's something that you should be proud about and not feel bad about. So she is embracing her baby bump and she's telling women all over the world to just embrace it. Love yourself, love your body, love what your body is doing and don't feel bad about it. So she said, quote, sometimes I'll walk past my reflection and be like, oh, shit, she said to a Vogue writer. She's just saying, like, you know, it's crazy what's going on in her body to see her body go through these changes. And, and now, you know, her baby's big enough so she could see the baby moving. And trust me, as a mother of three, it is. It's a very miraculous thing to watch your body go from a flat belly all the way to, like, a literally a whole human being growing and rolling around inside in your belly. So, um, you know, congratulations to her and ASAP Rocky. They are going to be, I know that baby's going to be a beautiful, beautiful baby, but she was basically saying that she kind of surrendered to, you know, um, the, to her journey, to her pregnancy journey. And she's saying she's just embracing it and going with it. So she's not going to feel bad about what her body's doing. She's not going to worry about it. She's not going to be worried about how she's going to bounce back. None of that. She just wants to embrace her pregnancy and enjoy it and, you know, just be sexy and love it while she's doing it. So I love Rihanna for that because she's such an influencer. So, you know, so many people are going to be able to like relate to that. So many women especially are going to be able to relate to that and feel good about being pregnant. And now that she has come out and kind of been sporting out her baby bump, it's being said that, you know, a lot of pregnant women are coming out and, you know, sporting those pictures and put posting their pictures on social media and being more happy and thankful about being pregnant. So that's a good thing. I love that Rihanna's doing that because, 
like I said, she is such an influencer and she's going to make other women feel like, you know, it's okay. And it is. So, uh, Jay-Z was spotted at the court side at the uh, Nets game. Um, the Nets beat the Cavs 115 to 108. And of course, he was there live. Like, I mean, you know, why wouldn't he be? He's from Brooklyn and he put on a show as he was sitting there watch. Uh, they said that Kyrie, well, Kyrie Irving is what he's calling the self-proclaimed basketball savings. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but he finished the by completing a nearly perfect game in a Barkley Center as the Nets secured a spot in the Eastern Conference playoffs. So, yep, Jay Z was there. He was there for that, and I'm sure they probably played their butts off because they got Jay Z sitting front row. Like, why wouldn't you make make sure you're gonna play your butts off? But I'm sure they plan on playing their butts off anyway because they're trying to get into the Eastern Conference playoffs, and they made it. So now they're in the playoffs. So, shout out to the Brooklyn Nets, and um, you know. That's going to be it's going to be exciting going in and seeing um, going into the playoffs and seeing what all what all teams make it and, you know, who's going to make it to that final game. So I get excited about basketball. That's my favorite sport. I love it. So those are some of our um, those were some of our topics for the day. I'm not going to stay on too long talking about that because I have my guest waiting in the wing and I want to get to him and I want to get to this interview. So um, we're going to cut that short. But those are your headlines for the day. Um, I appreciate you guys listening to that. And um, now we're going to bring in my boy, the Prince Albert Bell, because he has a fight coming up this Friday. And we're going to talk about this fight, this fight, his boxing career and everything else that comes with him. So let's bring him in on in here. What's up, Mr. Prince Albert Bell? What's going on? How you doing? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Just getting ready for the fight, you know, going through the going final through stages the of huh? making weight and putting it, doing the final preparation. So that's about okay. it. Oops. Yes, yes. Albert Bell, 21 and 0, six knockouts. Yes, ma'am. Super featherweight division, right? Yeah. Undefeated, world ranked. Most definitely. And right here from the mud. I mean, sure. listen, I was doing my research on you because obviously I know you, you know, from being around our city and, you know, put, putting on for our city and you become this, this celebrity and you notice, you know, you're a, you're a world renowned boxer now, but I didn't know like a, all of your stats and stuff. So now mm -hmm. as I was like sitting down, you know, to prepare for this interview, I said, let me watch, you know, some interviews. Let me look at some of his stats and do some research so I can, um, you know, see what's going on with him. And I was like really impressed. I'm like, wow, I didn't even, first of all, I didn't even realize you've been fighting this long. I didn't realize you had that many um, fights under your belt. And I didn't realize that you had that many. Now. Like, I just, I didn't even know. I was like reading all this stuff and I was like, wow, yeah, he's, he's official for real. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so for sure. Um, talk a little bit about, uh, well, first of all, you're born and raised in Toledo, Ohio, right here in the mud, right? Correct. Um, what side of town did you grow up on? South side, you already know that, you know what I mean? South side. Yeah, I, I knew that, I knew that. But <laughs> gotta make sure everybody else knows, yeah, for South sure. South side, Ohio. Okay, and um, so I know uh, watching some of your videos, um, you said that your dad was who got you into boxing, right? Yep, your dad yeah, used definitely. to be a boxer? Yeah, yep, yeah, he's still my coach to this day. Awesome, yeah, so, and so yeah. was he, um, did he have like um, a, a very extensive career like how, as like how you've had already so far? Did he travel all over the world and was, was he um he had a very extensive amateur career as well but you know my dad was like in the streets and stuff so he's incarcerated and things like that oh, okay. so when he got out he had a couple of pro fights one those then he took his time and energy and focused into his sons um my, my older brother as well as me and i just end up taking it the farthest yeah wow that's amazing so you know and that's crazy because they say like you know with when what doesn't happen for you, you can at least pass it on, you know, and the next generation for can sure. take the torch and make it happen. And that's what you've done. And that's a beautiful thing. So about what age would you say it was that you first like what was your first memory of boxing? Um, I wouldn't even know. I've been in the gym since I was like a little kid. So uh just going up there every day with my father or just just being in the gym getting babysitted or just running around the gym being a bad little kid hiding under. <laughs> Yeah. I ain't under the ring and stuff like that. So I've been around boxing before. I couldn't even like I can't even tell you my first memory, but my first fight I probably had when I was eight years old. That's when you uh, wow, eight years older. old. Yeah, that's when you finally old enough to compete. So from that moment, I won every single tournament it was, and I just never looked back. So you've never ever ever lost a fight. 
No, yeah, I lost in the amateurs. I had like uh okay. I had like probably like two hundred some amateur fights. So I lost probably like probably like fifteen amateur fights and one probably like hundred and eighty five or something oh, like wow. that. Oh wow. Yeah. So in those moments and moments when you, you know, lost the fight, what did you what was your key takeaway or what made you say, okay, what did you learn from those moments that made you say, I'm gonna go harder next time and I'm gonna make sure I win the next one? Um just my competitive nature and just always want being a win going wanting to win and come out on top. So anytime, you know, um and the amateurs is all about learning, you know what I mean, learning experiences and lessons. So I just always go right back to the drawing board and just tighten up or sharpen up or whatever I need to do. And it got me to the point where I'm at today. Yeah. Now, how old would you say you were when you realized or like really said, okay, this is like serious. Like I'm about to take this serious. This is what I'm doing. I'm not doing nothing else. Um, or did it just kind of happen that way? Yeah. Since day one, um, I always knew like I was, well, I was always told then when I like, competing and when I was standing fighters and stuff as a kid, I always knew I was some special in boxing. So from day one, I always took it seriously. I knew this was going to be what I was going to, what I basically what I was born to do. Wow. Yes. Well, so you've had, I know you're 21 and 0 right now. Now you say, so, so there's amateur fights and then, cause I'm not real like familiar with the whole like mm. boxing world and, you know, etiquette and everything. So there's, there's like an amateur um, section and what, like a professional section. Yeah. So, it's like, Amateur is like for the kids, basically. Okay. Like the youth. It's like a uh, basically like high school basketball and stuff like that. So when you know? do you, uh, like when do you elevate? At what moment do you graduate? I turn I turn pro at uh, I turn pro at the age of nineteen, I believe. Is that so, because of like a certain amount of fights or wins, or how do you? No, it's just uh, when you feel like you're ready. You, boxing is like when you're grown, you can turn pro. Like, um, but it's like levels to it, you know, but I was one of the number one amateur fighters in the country. So wow, okay. it's not the same as just somebody just jumping off the porch and just turning pro, you know, it's like, it's hard to explain. Boxing kind of tricky, but um, yeah, I had a long amateur career. That's when you fight from your kid from eight years old. You could be eight from 34 to 34, through, yeah, through the ages of 34 to boxing amateurs, but I decided to pro turn pro when I was 19. Okay. So, I had 21 fights since turning pro in 21 and 0. And, um, you know, you s just speaking about how you said you've always taken this seriously, I noticed um, as I was watching some of your videos and some of your interviews and stuff, what I um, what I found very interesting and what I liked was you were you say a lot. You're and you're you're known for this too. Um, as I was reading some some different articles about you, I saw that different writers people know you for wanting to compete with the best like you're mm -hmm. not uh, you're not a late you're not a lazy or a scared fighter you're not like um looking for the easy wins you want yeah. you're kind of like scoping out the fighters who you know are the best who you know are undefeated and you know and you want to be in the ring with them and Most i know definitely. that um your last fight in georgia was with um uh what was it uh like a darius uh something or um yeah i believe so as well. yeah and um, I know that you had initially before you got that fight, you kind of wanted that fight because you wanted he was kind of high ranking, too. And you wanted to fight someone um, you you want to fight the, the ones that are the best because you want to be ranked with the best. And I find that very, um, you know, I, I love that because for me, I don't know, you know, for first of all, I could never be a boxer because I'm too scary. <laughs> I don't want to get hit in the face. But. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I think, like, I would want to probably fight the people who I know I'm going to beat up. <laughs> right, right, right. But no, I guess with professional boxer, you do. You want to be with, you want to you wanna go up against the best so that when you do win, it's like, yeah, that's how you know, you know, you're the best, right? right and so right. Um, there's a guy, Chris Colbert, that you've been, um, I guess, wanting to get in a ring with. Talk a little bit about that. Why is it that you want to compete with him, and why hasn't that happened yet? Um. That's probably like, that's like water under the bridge now because he lost his last fight. Oh, you know, um, we actually fought the same day. My last fight, when oh, okay, I, when I just fought in Atlanta, he fought that night on Showtime. But he was, I guess, he's like uh ranked number one in the WBA and was in line for a title shot. So, would have beat him and would have got a world title shot. That was the only reason why I wanted to fight him. Okay, it wasn't, gotcha. nothing, wasn't nothing in particular or nothing um personal or nothing like that. But like I said, he um he lost his last fight. Um, now, you know, it's on to the next guy. I, I like to fight the guy that beat him. So, right. Right. Um, and what's they, that guy's name? Um, 
something Garcia. He's he's from the Dominican Republic. He's oh, okay. a good fighter. You know, okay. I like to fight him now or whoever you're in the positions. It really doesn't matter the name or the face. It's just about the position they're in or the ranking. Right. Okay, the because then that puts you in a better position when you win. Exactly. Got you. So that makes sense. Um, so how does that I guess that leads me to my next question. How how does that even happen with um I know that the terminology for it is about, right? Like um, uh, how do you get about and like how do you pick which fights you're gonna choose? Like how do you, you know, how does that even come about? Um, for the most part, be up to the managers and the promoters, but uh you know, a lot of times when it comes down like when the best fight and the best is take the two fighters to agree. Okay. You know, to just say, let's make this happen, you know what I mean? We can make this much of money or it didn't make sense to for our careers to do this or do that. And then y'all just have to agree to it and then have your handler as far as your manager promoters make it sit down and make it happen. Okay. So your next fight that um the fight that we have coming up is this on Friday. This Friday you brought it back to Toledo. Now I know that you've had some fights um in different places, different locations out of town. Are you able to choose the location or how does that work? Uh, not really. The managers and promoters uh, mostly do that, you know what I mean? But um, while I'm a free agent right now, um, me and my managers like, let's do one back home. So I was all for it. I haven't fought in Toledo in four years. So, you know, it's, it's always a fresher breath, breath air to see all your family, your friends, and yeah. familiar faces around the city, you know, cheering for you and having that um, big home crowd advantage here in Toledo, so I definitely was all for it and glad we can make it happen. Yeah. Um, so while you're getting prepared for a fight and like, you know, this is fight week, it's uh, coming up. How does that, what is a typical week for you? How do, how does the Prince prepare for a big fight? Um, fight week or just period? Well, in, well, in general, but more particularly like fight week, like what, what's that week like leading up to the actual event? Like what, what is, what is that whole week like for you? Um, fight week is always, you know, they be kind of hectic, you know, you got a lot of, um, you have to make weight, you know, putting your final preparations on your training camp. So you're doing a lot of training, a lot of less eating, a lot of less drinking water and stuff like that. Now you go into your sacrifices and, you know, showing your dedication of why you're doing what you're doing with separate yourself as a uh, true professional. And then you got to keep up with your appearances as well, like things like this, doing podcasts and stuff, knowing you're tired or got to go train in a minute. So it's uh, it'd be pretty tough, and uh, but, you know, you got to be built for it because it's, um, it's all worth it at the end of the day. So that's what I'm going through now, just um, training, cutting weight, and getting ready uh to uh, you know perform friday yeah so with with making weight um because i noticed you you spoke about that in another interview too you said that um it's a little bit more difficult or kind of you know a little anxious for for someone in your um in your like division because you guys do have to make a certain weight whereas the the heavier guys don't necessarily have to worry about that so if it comes down to it and say you don't make weight what happens in a scenario like that um, if you don't make weight, your uh, your fight can actually be canceled because you wow. agree to a certain weight. Wow. And you know, as a professional, you have to show up and be on weight because that's what you're contracted as. Or sometimes you, a lot of money will come out of your purse straight to your opponent. And who wants to do that? You know. Wow, that's interesting. So with getting prepared for when you wait, like, do you weigh in right before the fight, or is there like a certain time period where, like, prior to the fight, you have to be this weight? Yeah, the day before you away. The day in. before, so you right. had like you could possibly go in the day before and not make your weight. Right, exactly. But that's wow, what, that's that's but, that has to be a little nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, but you you know what I mean it's part of I mean like you said so you be having to make weight ever since I was a little kid. So right, so you're just uh, used to it. You just know what to do. Sure. So is there like a certain diet that you follow as far as like what you eat and drink and things like that? Are you um, leading up? You know, even throughout the you know prior to that week do you have a certain regiment that you follow week by week do you do yeah, you meal do. prepping like do you have a nutritionist how does that work yeah i uh, usually do meal prepping um you know and just like eating a lot of healthy foods and cutting back on the sweets and food that's not healthy for you and drinks that's not healthy for you so strictly i mean mostly strictly just water uh water diet as far as um drinking and then just healthy foods you know salmon chicken breast kale broccoli asparagus um certain like rices and stuff like that and fruit and fruits and veggies for real 
and just um, certain type of meats that's healthy for you. Not you can't go out, you know, cheeseburgers and pizza right. and mm-hmm. heavy food like that. So you just try to keep it healthy and, um, you know, just proportion it right. Yeah. Do you have a team of people who like handle that for you or do you have to do all of these different things by yourself to make um, sure that it's done? I have a, uh, I have a chef. Like a whole day. lot. You have a chef? Oh, that's Yeah, cool. I have a chef. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, well, um, so what was I going to say? Um, you're leading up to your fight. You're getting ready to go in. I know that you said on one of your interviews that you're like going in kind of wanting to, um, you like want to go in and like you want to like get a knockout. Is that kind of like your goal, like going into the fight or you do you kind of have like a certain style or do you just kind of go in and like, it's just, you kind of freestyle and go with the no, I find I kind of, uh, I kind of sit back a little. I don't ever really go looking for knockouts. So that's, I believe that's how you get knocked out. You know, okay, I just let yeah. the fight, uh, I let the fight come to me, you know, I, cause I'm, I, I'm always the smartest ring. I mean, smartest guy in the ring. I have a very high boxing IQ. So the first couple rounds, I try to figure it out. But if I could get you out of there, if I find a shot or open and get you out of there, I'm gonna get you out of there. But most, you know, I just like to uh, go out there and perform and have fun and just let the fight come to me and just be relaxed and go from there. Yes, awesome. Well, that's, um, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. You know, that was pretty much all the questions I have for you. I'm excited about the fight. I'm going to be there. LRTV is going to be there in the building. I'm going to be there with my red carpet. I would love to get a moment with you after the fight. Um, exactly. you know, when everything, when you win, cause I know you are. And, sure. um, I know that Toledo's, uh, gonna, I mean, I already know the place is going to be packed. So can people still buy tickets? Yes, they can still buy tickets. They could go on Ticketmaster. The tickets are on there. Um, I don't know how many floor seats left, but if not, you know, they got the general admission as well going on. So it's still time to get your tickets to get your merchandise and get prepared for the big fight Friday because, uh, you know, we're going up. Yes. And where can people go and get their merchandise? Um, they could just hit me on my page. It's uh, okay. Albert Prince Bell on Instagram, Albert Prince Bell on Facebook. And or Albert Bell 419 on Twitter and just get with me and you know um it's some numbers on there to the shirts and they'll be delivered to you or you could pick them up. Yeah, and I saw you have like a um there was a dope collab uh a dope t shirt. I don't know who did it or who made it, but with you and Zaya Cook. Uh I love that. I thought that was really Oh yeah, that's dope. the uh Mud Maid collection. Yeah, sure. I like that. Uh, I like that. Shout out I'm to Mud Maid. Mud. That's dope. Um and shout out to you and uh who you want to give some shout outs to. I know you're with Pulse Boxing, right? And Vic Most Green. Definitely. Shout out to Vic Green because yes. he uh he's putting all this together right so who, yeah go yes, ahead and give some shout definitely. out to, shout, so out to uh, shout out to pause box and big green for putting the fights together and bringing it back to seed ohio shout out to fight tv for streaming it worldwide uh shout out to my team my whole camp team prince bill uh shout out to zai cook like you said for winning the national championship yes. and um anybody from today doing anything you know um we just love this positivity that's going on we need more of it and um you know just Keep following, keep supporting. We're going to keep uh, doing our thing for y'all. Yes, awesome. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of Toledo. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everybody that's coming out of Toledo doing really big things, man. I think that, um, like, you know, I just remember when this was a place I hated to be, and now our city has kind of come full circle. We've evolved a lot, and we got a lot of rising stars. And so, um, you know, I'm proud to say that I know you. I'm proud to, you know, be from Toledo. And um, and I'm just, I'm proud of all of us, though. So. I'm proud, of, I'm proud of you and good luck on your fight on Friday. I definitely will see you there. I'll be there. And um, I know there's going to be an after party, right? After yes. party at the agenda. Yes. Then another one at, at after the after party uh, at Bucks, uh, Rack City. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be a long up. night. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything go right. Get the win. You know, you work hard. We play a little hard, too. So. Yes, yes. Um, work hard, play harder. That's what it's all about, careful. right? So, so Toledo, do not get out here and act a fool on right. our boys' day. Good this time. Is, good times only. The Prince. Right. Good positive vibes only. Good positive vibes only. That's right. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Albert. I appreciate your time. Thanks I for having me. I look forward to seeing you fight. I know you're going to bring home another win. So good luck to you. And uh, keep keep going strong. Keep doing what you're doing. Most definitely. Thank you for having me. As I'm honored. I'm privileged. And God bless you. Uh, thank you. God bless you, too. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, that was Albert the Prince Bell. Thank you again to him for tune um for coming in and you know taking his time to sit down with me. I appreciate it because I it's fight week and I know he's busy. He's busy, 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 busy man. He's training, 
getting ready for this fight on Friday. So like he said, if you haven't got your tickets already, make sure you uh, get your tickets. You can get with Vic Green. You can get with Elber Bell. You can also get with him for any merchandise. So you can make sure when you show up, you got on your merch and you are supporting and ready to go. It's going to be a dope fight. I'm ready. I can't wait. On Friday, LRTV will be in the building with the red carpet, making it happen. So uh, make sure you guys are there in the building because it's going to be going down after party at Agenda and then after party from there on to uh, Rack City. So you know, your girl Leah Renee, I'm going to be out here. LRTV, we're going to be out here. We're going to be celebrating my birthday and we're going to be celebrating the fight and we're going to be celebrating Albert the Prince Bell Jr. So make sure you guys are out at the fight. It's going to be a dope fight. I can't wait to see him bring home another win. 21-0, and 0, six knockouts, undefeated, world ranked, and he's right here from the mud. So I'm proud to say I know him. I'm proud to say that he's from Toledo and I'm proud to say that I just interviewed him. So that was a dope interview. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning into my show. It's my birthday. Hit my cash app if you're feeling generous. Dollar sign, I am Leah Renee. I love you all. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, I can't do what I do without you. So please just continue to support. Go over to YouTube, LRTV on YouTube and subscribe to my channel and share this live and just continue to love and support. I thank you guys. Have a blessed and productive day. I'm going to have a wonderful birthday. I hope you guys have a great day. Hit my cash app and I love you all. Until next time. Mwah.